गुड मॉर्निंग के स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर द बॉन्ड ऑफ लव इन दिस चैप्टर द ऑथर डिस्क्राइब अबाउट अ बियर हु वॉज स्लोथ बियर स्लोथ मीन्स लेजी एंड कैन देयर बी लव एंड फ्रेंडशिप बिटवीन ह्यूमन बींग एंड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स लेट अस रीड अ फैसिलिटिंग अकाउंट ऑफ एन ऑर्फेंट स्लोथ बियर दैट वॉज रेस्क्यूड बाई द ऑथर हियर द स्लोथ बियर दैट वॉज द लेजी बियर Who was rescued by the author? And so, we have seen how many forested areas. Means they be in forested areas, including the tropical rainforest of India, and grasslands at lower elevations. Means the sloth deer or deer they be in tropical rainforest areas or forested area or grassland area at lower heighted places. The sloth deer have very sandy hair, and they are having. Much hair in their body. That means the sandy hair and long muscles means they are having uh, pointed muscles, pointed mouth, using their claws to dig. And they use their claws or their toes, you know, to dig out the ground to find out their food. Okay? They can then use their lips to form a tube, and they use their lips to form a tube-like structure, you know, to take food and to find out. Food from the ground, which can go deep into the ground and or into hard to reach areas like their trees for their food. Means they use their pointed muscles or pointed mouth to find out their food from the dead trees or from the underground. Okay, to find out termites. Termites are their very favorite food. Okay, they like termites. You can hear they. and as such up there food from several feet away and by their muscles by their pointed mouth they suck up means they find out or they take their food from the several feet away i will begin with bruno here bruno was named that the bruno was the name of that sloth bear my wife's pet sloth bear i bought him For her uh, by accident. Here the author is saying that I will begin with Bruno. Means I will start the story by Bruno with Bruno, my wife's pet pet uh, pet sloth bear. That Bruno was his wife, author's wife, pet sloth bear. I bought him for her by accident. And here the author is saying that I bought that Bruno means that sloth bear by accident. Two years ago, we were passing through the sugarcane field near Mysore, and here the author is saying that, you know, when he was passing with his companion uh, through the sugarcane field, people were driving away the wild pigs from the field by shooting at them. And the that village where the sugar field, uh, sugarcane field was, the people of that village they were driving away the beer. Okay. Uh, they were driving away the pigs from the field by shooting at them, and some were shot and some were escaped. When they were shooting some pigs from in the sugarcane field, some pigs were escaped and some were shot. We thought that everything was ever over when suddenly a black sloth bear came out panting in the hot sun. And as we thought everything is over, suddenly one sloth bear came out. Okay, out painting in the hot sun. One sloth bear came out from the sugar cane field, and he was painting in the hot sun. Now I will not shoot at sloth bear wantonly, but unfortunately for the poor beast, one of my companions did not feel that that way about it, and promptly shot the bear on the spot. Then what happened? Wantonly. The meaning of wantonly for no good reason. And here. Uh, now I will not shoot a sloth bear. The author is saying that I will not shoot. Uh, I thought that I will not shoot the sloth bear when he came out from the sugar cane field. But wantonly, and uh, unfortunately, uh, without any reason, one of the my uh, companion, and uh, he didn't feel that way about that sloth bear and promptly shot the uh, shot the bear on the spot. Means one of the one of my companion. Shot that sloth bear. He didn't think the reason, and he didn't think uh, think anything about that 
अबाउट दैट शो हियर एंड सडनली प्रॉम्प्टली ही शॉक ही and then what happened as we caused the fallen animal we were surprised to see that the black fur on its back moved and left the prostrate body and you know, when we saw it was a here prostrate is lying on the ground facing downwards when he was shot that sloth we were shot he was lying on the ground you know, facing to the ground downwards as we watched the fallen animal and when my one of my companion means my friend shot that sloth bear you know he was fallen on the ground and we watched them we, we watched him the fallen animal and we were surprised to see that the black fur on its back you know when we saw that animal the sloth bear you know uh, black fur fur was there in in on on his body and left the prostrate body means he was lying on the ground when he was shot by my friend then we saw it was a when we saw it was a baby bear that had been riding on its mother's back when the shuttle shot had killed her okay and there was a baby bear when her mother was shot out by my friend by my companion you know baby bear that had been riding on its mother's back one baby bear was there he was riding on its mother's back when the sudden shot had killed her and the little creature went around its prostrate parent making a pretty full noise and her mother was prostrate means she was lying on the ground and facing downwards and her baby was moving on her body and that was a little creature that was a baby bear and ran around its prostrate parents making a pretty full noise means she was making noise that my uh, mother had been killed and he was moving around uh, her mother and her mother was posted her mother, mother was lying on the ground then what happened after that i ran up to it to attempt a capture and when i saw that the big bear that was the mother bear he was uh, posted and baby bear was moving around his mother it it is scooted into the sugar cane field following it with my companion i was at last able to grab it by the scruff of its neck while it snapped and cried to scratch me with its long hooked claws here i ran up to it and as i saw that baby bear he was moving around his mother i ran towards him to catch him okay it is scooted this it ran away that baby bear was scooted you know towards the sugar cane field then he was ran away into the sugar cane field i moved towards him to catch that baby bear okay following it with my companions and we followed with my companion i followed with my companion that baby bear that uh with this one uh, slow bear following it with my companions i was at last able to grab it okay and finally i was able to grab this i crushed that baby bear finally and by the scruff of its neck why it snapped and tried to scratch me with its long hooked claws when i uh when i was able to grab that baby bear he scruff means by the scruff of its neck and by the back side of its neck means i clutched that baby baby bear by back of its neck and by it snapped and cried and when i clutched that baby bear in her neck on her neck to back side of her neck it snapped you know and tried to try to scratch me that baby bear tried to scratch me with its long hook class we put it in one of gunny bag we 
we had brought and when I got back to Bangalore, I then presented it to my wife. And then we, that the author clutched, author geared that baby bear, you know, they put that baby bear in their gunny bags, in their bag. We had brought, you know, whatever they had brought the bag, in that bag they put that baby bear. And here the author is saying that when I got back to Bangalore, I then presented it to my wife. When I caught, uh, caught that baby bear and returned back to Bangalore, I really means I uh, properly presented that baby bear, sloth bear, to my wife. She was delighted. When she caught that baby bear, she became happy. She at once put a colored ribbon around its neck. And when she caught that baby bear, as I presented her, and you know, she uh, tied a colored ribbon around her neck. And after discovering the cub was a boy, she christened it Bruno. And we discovered, you know, my wife, she discovered that this is a boy baby. Okay, baby boy. She christened it Bruno. She named that baby bear Bruno. Means she, they, means uh, author's wife gave his, he, uh, gave the name that the baby bear that the name was Bruno. Bruno soon to, to drinking milk from a bottle. It was but a step further and within a very few days he started eating and drinking everything else. And then what happened? When she christened the name Bruno, Bruno soon to, to drinking milk. See, he, that Bruno started drinking milk very soon with a bottle. It was but a step further and within a very few days he started eating and drinking everything else. And within very few days the Bruno, that Bruno started eating and drinking everything. And and everything is the right word for he ate porridge made from any ingredients, porridge liquid meal. Here porridge is the liquid meal and it is made of any grain. So that was the porridge and everything is that right word for he ate porridge made from any ingredients. Okay, he started eating grain, uh, porridge, vegetables, fruit, nuts, meats, especially pork. In meals he preferred especially pork. And curry and rice, curry and rice, and regardless of uh, condiments and chilies and bread, egg, eggs, chocolate, sweets, puddings, ice cream, etc. means everything he started eating. As for drink, milk, tea, coffee, lime juice, aerated water, butter, milk, beer, alcoholic liquor, and in fact anything liquid means all kinds of liquid he started drinking and eating all kinds of ingredients okay it all went down with relish and all the things like that was, uh, even, uh, that was the drinking or that uh, the eating material he all the things he started taking with a taste or with relish the beer became very attached to our Two assistant dogs and to all the children of the tenants living in our bungalow. And again, the author is saying about that baby beer, that baby beer, that baby beer is Bruno, became very attached and slowly you know, he became attached to our two assistant dogs. Two assistant dogs were also there uh, with, uh, in, in his house, in author's house, and he became very attached to both the dogs, to both the Alsace dogs and to all the children of the ants living in our bungalow. And he was left quite free in his younger days and spent his time in playing, running into the kitchen and going to sleep in our bed. And here again the author is saying that he was left. Means we left that baby bear free in his younger days and he spent his time in playing. And we with uh, means I with my wife spent time in playing and running you know, into the kitchen and going to sleep in our beds. Then what happened? We 
your daughter is saying one day an accident hai na an accident with him an accident had happened with him with that bruno what was the accident i put down poison when your car burned hai na to kill the rats and mice that had got into my library okay so here the author is saying that one day what happened i put down the poison that was the barrier of carbon and to kill the rats and mice into my library bruno entered the library as he often did and one day bruno entered in my library where the barrier of carbon and that poison was kept and bruno entered the library as he often did and he had some of the poison and one day he entered in my library and he had some poisons of barium carbonate paralysis set in to the extent that he could not stand on his feet and he became paralyzed when he had the barium carbonate in my uh, in my library he had he became paralyzed <coughs> that could not stand on his feet and because of that he could not he was now not able to stand on his own feet but he dragged himself on his stumps to my wife okay who called me i guess what had happened of i was in the car to the vets residence a case of poisoning then we are very informed what to do here doctor is saying that when he became paralyzed into the great extent he was unable to stand on his feet but he dragged himself you know on his uh, on his stumps to my wife he came you know to my wife and by dragging himself who called me and my wife called me i guess that what happened and when my wife called me what happened i guess i rushed into the car uh, in the car to the beds and as i listened as i as my wife called me i listened about uh, that what had happened with baby bear i rushed in the car to the beds okay a beds resident a case of poisoning and you know, having a case of poisoning then we are very confident what to do and i couldn't decide what to do what had happened with my baby bear bruno and suddenly i rushed towards the vets residence